Greetings, everyone. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. The problem is the cops probably would love to pull you over when you're driving that thing around here. <laughs> yeah, Smokey and the Bandit. <laughs> it's just that it's it's profiling when they see um, a Corvette, especially a red or yellow one. You know that. You know it's it's. She's no, she's she's studying it. You see how fancy it is. That means that, that means the evil spirits are coming out. That that would make a a fantastic. Well, this tarnished in me or what? What? No, mine haven't tarnished. She's asking me if it would tarnish. Mine tarnished. I only spent. No, that won't tarnish. No, I've had mine for. I've. You know what? Where's the whiskey? Does anybody have any Irish whiskey for my coffee? It. I Thank had. You, Jimmy. I, I had, appreciate it. I had mine for over a year. Mm -hmm. I have two of them. One in my car. One over my bed. They haven't tarnished yet. Where did you put the one in your car? Did you put it on what? It's on my rear view mirror. Mm -hmm. Now that you have it. It will tarnish fast. <laughs> it will. This is, what, this is what happens when it your has brain. This effect on metal. Watch. I think it's tarnishing already. Look. She needs Tarnex. Where do you know? How could you put on your. Where on your. Oh, uh, Lord, help me. Maybe I should put your mine on my rear You know, you're going to make me talk like Zachary. Maybe I should put mine on my You're going to make me talk like Dr. Smith from Lost in Space. Mm -hmm. Oh, the pain. Oh, the pain. <laughs> No, listen, hang it over your bed where you sleep. Mm -hmm. Because when you're sleeping, that's when the Make bad sure. spirits attack Make sure you. It's on your side, not on my guy's side. Yeah, not on the my guy. Uh, what's his name? Um, Jerry. Ray? Uh, oh, the other guy. Jerry Galupi? Uh, Jerry Nothing was going Guppy. on with Ray. <laughs> Jerry Guppy. <laughs> Jerry Guppy. Uh, oh. This is very nice. Thank you. That's deluxe. You know how hard the, the, it is to get those? I I, I I did research. It's hard to get them. You ordered it on the computer? Or? Oh no. Oh no. I found it where I found the amulet that, that he's got. Oh uh, yeah? The same place. You know how much those things cost? I, tell you, I ain't going to tell you. I bet that thing's 10 cents at least, right? You mean wholesale cost? <laughs> No, she's shaking like a leaf. No. Like you got Tourette's or something. You have that effect on her. You're like, oh, oh. Yeah. Jim, Jimmy's here. Jimmy, Jimmy's here. <laughs> oh, I better hide this where nobody can get it. Listen, you better, yeah, you better put. Where you won't even find it. Yeah, but if you put it in that purse, you'll never find it again. That is so hard. You know what's in that purse? Another, Everything. another dimension. Right. I no. threw away some stuff in my apartment today. There's, was, a, par there's a parallel universe things. in that purse. You threw away a piece of paper in our apartment today. One piece of paper or two pieces? I opened up some envelopes of old stuff there. Don't tell envelopes me you... Envelopes oh. that hadn't even been opened. Don't tell me you saved junk mail. <laughs> junk mail, yeah. <laughs> junk mail? You know what I do with junk mail? I file it under G. I <laughs> For garbage. It's in Latin, I think. Oh yeah, Billy knows Latin, La Flute. <laughs> it says, "Tell I did shock." I 
It's in Latin, I think. Oh my god! How'd you get that on here? Get it blessed. Don't lose it. I better oh, get it blessed. They're very hard to apply. You should talk. You break yours. Yeah, but that was, I didn't know that was made out of um, gla glass. No, that was glass. Well, the other one was rock quartz, though. Yeah, I guess I guess the the, the tiles they use at, at McDonald's is like. Uh, I didn't get the last one blessed. That must have been the mistake I made. Listen, get them, take them both at the same time. Go to a reputable. I don't know what I did with the other one. A reputable, find a reputable Catholic church, and and look for and look for a reputable priest. There aren't any of those either. <laughs> not the, not like Fatty Arbuckle that went around. Probably get raped. <laughs> she's a guy. She's a guy. She's safe. You know the Fatty Arbuckle story. Well, he was a diddler. Really? Yeah, back then. She likes that I hear. <laughs> she yeah. likes what? Oh, nothing. This is back in the silent movies. Yes, they didn't talk back then. Well, they did, but you couldn't hear them. Yeah, but I'm sure you could appreciate silent. Anyway, he was he was he was a molester. Fatty Arbuckle. He was a silent movie star. You know, during Rudolph Valentino and uh, Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. Right. And he, he got caught back then. He diddled. He, he diddled. I don't know what he diddled. Or who, but... Anyway, that, I, I digress. Get it blessed. Which actually rhymes. I digress. Get it blessed. By a real priest. And tell him it's a St. Benedict's medallion. And bring them both in. Oh, by the way, did you go to Rochelle Park yet? Not yet. <laughs> What happened with that doctor? Oh, Rigolosi. I went Rigolosi. to your doctor. I got the wax out. Oh, you went to Rigolosi? Yeah, I went well, Wednesday for real and Thursday. Now. I went Wednesday and Thursday. He's Italian. His parents are from Italy. Right. He lives in Lodi. I got his history, yeah. And he's from, and he's connected with Holy, Holy Name Hospital, Hospital in yeah. Teaneck. Yeah. And he used that, the he water. He used the gun. The gun, yeah. That's what he used on me. It's he a used peroxide, peroxide and waters in the gun. But did you notice how you were able to, like, hear everything? Well, yeah, apparently not. You used to one. What? What? Well, I can't hear with the TV going to, but I can we never can. hear with background Well, maybe the stars. peroxide went all the way through. There's nothing to block it. There's nothing to block it. That was pretty good. It just shoots right through. Uh, I have a slight hearing problem anyhow. Is that the same as impediment? A hearing impediment? Yeah. Well, I can't use that, those words. I can spell I can spell I M P E D I M E N T. Way too much humor for me. I gotta stand I still have the those teeth skull and crossbone bandanas for that bartender that comes here once in a thousand years. I got him in the back seat. Eventually he'll come. You know. Who? The, the, the bartender that likes to wear bandanas. The guy that, that you said you should apply for a job at and, um, Oh, the real thin guy. Oh, uh, Frankie. Your name was Frankie? He got a good memory. Yeah, him. Eileen should apply as bartender. I'm trying. I'm trying to apply and shop right as a oh, bagger. I got a better job for her. This is the perfect job for you. You could be one of those professional laughers that sits in the front seat of Bananas Comedy Club. Every time a comedian says a punchline, you can start laughing. I think they 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 hire people like that to get the crowd going. How much do they get paid? No, I think she might get more laughs than the comedian. That'll bother them. You know what? You're right about that. Once she gets the horse shack going. <laughs> no, I'm serious. She will get paid off the books. Because you know why? You collect. Go ahead, Eileen. Ask him. What kind of books? <laughs> Coloring books. 
Stay in the lies. Mad, mad magazine. Stay in the lies. Because if you if you get paid on the books, my rent social goes up. Se social security and the state will get on your back. Yeah, my rent goes up. I've been working and my rent went up. And if you make too much, your food stamp goes up and everything. No, I know. Your food stamp goes down. Goes down, that's what I mean, yeah. Yeah, but she I did know. something stupid. She didn't get it down low and they cut her by $20. Mm -hmm. You know what you got to do? You got to get that deal. You get the I, I $5 see. or below. You cannot, you cannot retain money in no. your EBT card. And they think you don't need it. That's why they cut you down. Mm -hmm. I cannot not use it. No, you got to use it all. You got to use, use, use it all. I know I didn't use it all, then they cut it, yeah? If you, got, if you, if you have $5 left at the end of the month, buy a gallon of milk. Buy something. Now I got nothing left. I you used to go up. Or cookies. Yep, or go to the Dollar Tree and get a bunch of banquet dinners. Mm -hmm. or, or whatever. Stop and shop. Whatever. Just spend it. Mm -hmm. Or a box of cookies. Mm -hmm. That's when I was getting the frozen foods. Now I'm getting no frozen, no frozen foods. I'm using it all. I'm sorry, what was that? That's when I was getting the frozen foods, and I'm getting no frozen foods, so I'm using it all. Now it's all used up, and I gotta take money out of my own pocket. But that's not necessarily the case. Some frozen foods um, are not No, it's getting frozen foods from Newark. Remember, I told you now I'm not getting them anymore. Newark? What? It was Newark or somewhere, someplace, I forget where it was. You were buying frozen foods? No, I was getting them, the lady, the le they, were get, they were delivering them to my door, but now they're not delivering them anymore. Why? Because they stopped that, they said the government's not allowing it anymore. Now you know why I'm walking around, standing up. It was from my insurance. The insurance was kind of slutty and, and appealing at the same time. Oh. The blonde, the young blonde that walked out. Oh, I know you. Oh. But anyway, you know, her. You still have her. <laughs> Listen, you, you'll be doing yourself a huge favor if you do go to Rochelle Park one morning. Drive there. It wouldn't hurt, believe me. She didn't even want to give me what I got, Jimmy. Yeah, but it's like you have time on your hands to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, all you gotta do is go one morning. Just, you know, go. But you gotta bring three months bank statement. You gotta bring your PSE and G, your electric bill stuff. I gotta get that from my brother. Your brother? He, he writes out the check for the public service and they send it to him, the public service bill. Why is your brother? Oh, your brother helps pay you for your utilities? He doesn't pay the bills. He just writes out the check, you know. He's he the power of attorney. He, he, he controls. He controls things. He has power of attorney, like he said. He's got he control. He's, He's got Jimmy control, Powell. yeah. Does he have a legal power? Does he have legal guess, power of attorney? He, I guess he does. What do you mean you guess he does? You were decided for him giving it to him. My, my yeah. mother gave him control of stuff. Uh, 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 I'll be back. Uh, I'm gonna have a cigarette. Johnny Walker Red. Is anybody have any Johnny Walker? <laughs> Johnny she Walker can drive me to drink. I'll keep pouring. <laughs> uh, you know what I saw in the Shoprite liquor store? Blueberry wine. Now that sounds really sweet. It might be a sweet with dessert wine. Yeah, she but needs, she needs booze. But they're 18 percent alcohol. They deserve. Oh, she needs 50 percent alcohol minimum. She needs, she needs heavy duty moonshine like you. She, yeah, 196 proof. <laughs> that's what she needs. And you know what? She finished the whole bottle. Well, she's I Irish. Look at real quick, real quick though. Yeah, well, you shouldn't. It's not <laughs> good, you know. It's, that's how you get drunk real quick, too, though. That's why you should sip and oh. enjoy it. Uh -huh. well, she, well, you're uh -huh. Irish. You'll, you'll put away the booze. I'll put away the booze is right. Jimmy, if she had a sip, she'd be on the table dancing. Yeah, she'd be doing the jig. <laughs> Talk about shaking. Yeah. No, but seriously, take both medallions into your your local parish but i don't know where the other one is so i'll get this one blessed well no well why, why make two trips 
I won't be able to find the other one. It's in the warehouse, and God knows where it is in the warehouse. warehouse. I think I threw What's it away because it was all tarnished. What do you mean a warehouse? That's the other room where millions of things are, you know? All right, so, all right, so go, to, go to the parish. It has to be Roman Catholic Church. Look for a priest when he's done. Or even if he's not doing a sermon, say, Father, could you please bless my St. Benedict's medallion? It's brand new. Believe me, he'll know what it is. And he'll do it. Hopefully he'll use holy water. Oh, he has to use holy water? Uh, oh, yeah, when, when they mean, do, uh, when they do the, 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 the yeah. The other guy hasn't been using holy water to bless all my other meadows. Uh, mm. I'll ask him to bless it with holy water. You know what? My mother, you know what she, she used to do? She used to bring a small bottle in the church and fill it up and take it home and keep holy water in her room. My dad used to bring holy water in the house, too. So. That's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but take it and, you know, you'll know what it is. I got holy water. I gave him the holy water and asked him to bless it with my holy water. Tell him St. Benedict. For, to keep away evil, could you please, Father, bless my medallion, and he'll do it. With this holy water, yes. I'll give him the but holy that water. But that fancy one, mm -hmm. you hang it where you sleep, wherever your pillow is. You hang it above, because when you're at night, when you're sleeping, that's when a lot of people get attacked. By, he, by he the devil? Probably, yeah, by, by evil spirits, demons. Mm -hmm. I bet he's got it. He might have an evil spirit attached to him. Mm -hmm. Giving him cockamamie answers on that uh, that pendulum. Mm -hmm. You have one attached to your, by your pillow? Yeah, no, on, on the wall. On the wall? I got it hanging up. By your bed? Yeah, where, where I sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. And then I got another one on my... Is it blessed by the rib? holy water? Yeah, yeah. And I got another one hanging up from my rear view window mm -hmm. in the car. Oh. oh boy. I guess, I guess that's why you don't get into car accidents, right? Well, I, I, I usually look straight ahead and, and check my mirrors. Mm -hmm. I'm very, I'm very, um, I drive very conservatively. I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm very aware of my environment. Because don't forget, I used to work in a plant, UPS and C Caucus. You have to watch your step when you're when you're walking around there because you you can get in, seriously hurt. When you're driving, you should really always check your mirrors and look straight ahead. But you know, in the corner of your eye, check your side mirrors and your rear view mirror. But that that would to to use that as a keychain would be disrespectful. I wouldn't do that. I would hang it like I said on the wall where you sleep. But I could hang it on the, what the, the, what's the, the thing, the, the thing, this thing that where, the, where the bed is. Well, you, you yeah, bet. Here's the pillow and here's you, the thing you're where You're better the bed, off getting what's a, they call the bed, uh, what's a the headboard. Bed, headboard. I could ha have right by the headboard or, here, put it there. Oh, you could, you, you can, you can put a piece of duct tape and hang it over the headboard. Or put it right here on the headboard. Or, no, no, it should be right center. We're over your pillow, or you can put a little nail in the wall. A little nail. Oh, there was no parking. I had to go in t Timbuktu. I had to go. I could put it right on the headboard, resting on the headboard, right? Yeah, but make sure. Oh, you know, just put it under your pillow. Which Listen. Yeah, I'll put it underneath. Make believe like this pillow. is your headboard. Make mm -hmm. believe this is your pillow. Mm -hmm. If you if you don't want to put a nail in the wall, mm -hmm. which I don't care because I did it anyway. You can get some duct tape and hang it over the headboard so it's sitting right here. It, I'll get, I'll, I got Flex Seal, the guy from Flex Seal. I got some tape. Oh yeah, the, the uh, right, they have. I got tape that my dad used, masking tape. Masking tape? Yeah, but that's don't you have any packing tape or or? I have packing tape that you pack when you're when you're moving. Yeah, I'll use that. That's very strong tape, you know. I'll use that. 
here, here's the headboard. You flap the, the ring over and you put the tape, a big piece of tape, don't be cheap, yeah. uh, several inches long, over, but make sure it's center where you sleep. Mm -hmm. And this way it'll be right here. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, whiskey, where are you, my friend? That's, that was exhausting. Oh my God. You should have heard that Ferrari too. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I've heard, yeah. I saw, um. He was going to go in the city, maybe. I said, you could drive that in the city? Because I can raise her lower. The button goes up or down. Now, now, I don't know how true this is, but I think Corvette only made for one or two years the split rear windshield. You know when the in the early 60s when the rear windshield had that was split nice. that, was that was that was that was considered one of the best looking Corvettes ever made Stingray I like the new ones an awful lot Yeah I like them in canary yellow with black interior or Corvette or deep a deep red with black interior No I like Sal's that's black with the chrome mags is like I work when I was working in seafood there was a kid whose fa his father was an FBI agent retired from Wayne New Jersey you know where he bought his Corvettes not in Jersey he went out to Hershey Pennsylvania and went to a dealership a Chevy dealership called click Lewis Chevrolet no he say he says I saved ten thousand dollars he says I went to Malcolm Connor. They wanted ten grand more money than the dealership in in uh, I guess it's Lancaster County. Why? Yeah, right. Well, one is in Paramus, one is in in Lake. He he. The kid had three Corvettes. Well, he was a rich kid. Three Corvettes that he had two of them in the garage and one of them was outside covered and he says all three are from Hershey Pennsylvania from from click Lewis Chevrolet he says Malcolm Connor wanted at least 10 grand more money but he was he was a short kid with a kind of a Napoleonic complex yeah guess what every time he talked to a girl the first subject that came up was his corvettes because he was diminutive in the in the sophisticated uh english language diminutive Deal with money. It was like three, three hundred something thousand dollars. Uh huh. And that's all he talked to a girl about. One night, a guy, you know, really. Because when your money runs out, they leave you. Yeah. Oh, I got to tell you what happened. I've been staying away from Facebook like the plague. I like the plague. I've been. I only go in, do what I got to do, and I log out. So I log in. Somebody tries to contact me saying that they're in the US military uh, and she she's sending me photos of her in the Apache helicopter with the helmet and everything all of, a, all of a sudden all of a sudden she she sends me her Bank of America bank statement and asks me to show me her, my bank statement and, and ask me how much do I make and how much do I have saved I, I says whoa 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 how do I know that's your real bank statement? That could be a fake to sucker me to show me mine. I said, what do you think? I fell off the turnip truck? I said, first of all, if I'll call her back. So, so anyway, what happened was, I said, how do I know your bank statement is real? You could be trying to sucker me. I says, and if you are real, you're, you're making a grave mistake showing people your financial state your financial your personal financial information that's, that's kind of weird i thought that was very weird why are you, why are you 
coming out of the blue showing your financial. Yeah, she she actually sends it to me. It said five hundred and something thousand dollars. I go, why? What the hell's wrong with you? Why are you why are you sending me this? It's insane. It's like, and I, I immediately says, you know what? You have to be a scammer. No, no normal person shows their bank statement to a total stranger. She doesn't know me from Adam. And all of a sudden, I see Bank of America bank statement over five hundred grand. I go, you're. I says, wait a minute. Five hundred thousand, right? Yeah, but scammers send people fake. Um, bank statements. Yes. Fake, fake bank account. Fake. fake bank. It was a bank account or a bank. It was a, no. It was a. It was, ch it was a bank Banks. account statement from Bank of America. Of oh yeah. Right. Statement, yeah. It's like PayPal. They scammers use fake. You know, uh, PayPal. Um, what do they call uh, website interface? It looks exactly like Bank of America, or whatever, and they're phony. And then they sucker you to give them your personal information, and then whammo, they clean you out. <laughs> Anything like that, that's a warning sign right there. Well, it's a big red flag. I gotta go into the bathroom, but that sounds like a real scam. Did you tell her it was a scam? Yes, I did. <laughs> What'd she say? Eileen, why are you taking your water and to the bathroom? I'm, I'm bringing my water with me. I'll leave my water here. I'm going to take the cup because I want to drink out of it. You wait till you come back to the How are you going to be? Well, I think your purse is going to be safe, but... <laughs> you carry everything with you. I'll leave my purse, too. Watch my purse, okay? Don't let anybody take anything out of it, okay? He's going to sell it. You won't get much for the price, but I'll get a lot for the belongings. Oh, the belongings. The belongings. Expired She's a hoarder. She's got expired coupons, right? You know what? Let me call my Gatorade. Gatorade. Eh, Powerade is Powerade blows away Gatorade. Gatorade is really a lot of sh it's a lot of sugar mostly. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah, the dog, my doctor said Gatorade is good too, Jimmy. Now, now, you know Walmart makes their own version of Pedialyte. You ever hear of Pedialyte? Yeah, I heard of it. Isn't that for kids? That's for little kids, I think. No, I think, no, the... That's for little kids. The, that's what Jimmy says, that's what Bill says. The, elder, the elderly can take it. Oh, yeah? It's for kids, primarily. Yeah, it's for kids, Jimmy. Oh, like pe kids. Pedi as in pediatrician. Yeah, okay. like Pediasure, yeah. Pedialyte. Pediasure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, your mother's taking Pedialyte. No, she. They said she's a little. She's kind of dehydrated because. Um, yeah, she's showing signs of dehydration. So I, I had to change her drink. No, Knob Knob Creek. Yeah. No, or Old Granddad. Remember that? Yeah. Wild turkey. And yeah, my grandfather used to buy old granddad. Beer. No, he used to like Southern Comfort. Actually, that's not a bad. That's not a bad drink. Yeah. Yeah. You like Southern Comfort? You ever have that? No. It's it's like a it's it's a bourbon, but it's like a liqueur. I fed my mom when she was dying. I fed her. It was, it was, it was busy right your ocean. You gotta get your food. I fed her when she was neater eating. I gave her that that food in shore. You know, is your oh, mom that, that's no. no, no. She says too sweet. In shore is is a lot of sugar also. Oh, yeah. No, she likes the banquet dinners. Um, meatloaf with creamy mashed potatoes. She likes that. Um, she likes the manicotti's that I get her. But the banquet has manicotti? No, no, another company. It only takes four minutes in a microwave. Oh, yeah. You nuke it and it's done. Four minutes. Mm -hmm. She used to like the mac and cheese with Salisbury steak. What the banquet had? Which is nothing but a damn hamburger with brown gravy. The banquet had? Banquet had it? Oh, all these sells a big box of Salisbury steaks for like two dollars and change. Like a. Did banquet have macaroni and cheese? Yeah, with, with the Salisbury steak. Oh, yeah? On the side, yeah. See, if you go to the Dollar Tree, they have all that. You could not, you could get, load up your your freezer with that EBT. Wait a minute, wait a minute, you have a microwave? I do, but it's 40 years old. It's very 40? 40, 40, yeah. 
know if they were invented yet, were they? Four years it's ago? been around since ABA. You have an Amana? And now, and that, I have you a have an Amana radar range? I have a cold shark. Cold I have a man on my dad. Line. I remember that. That was a big cold front. That was the first. It was a bit like a brick, you know what? I know. It was I have, huge. I have cold stars. Radar, radar range, I think it was called. Yeah, yeah. That I was. Have cold stars. It's been around since 88 or 86. Cold star, cold star. Cold star. Gold star is LG. LG, what's that? LG. You know, LG? You know how reasonable. It's a appliance company now. Yes. They started as Gold Star, changed their name to LG. Oh, those commercials for the uh, cell phones, LG cell phones. I see them all the time. Samsung. You know, microwaves, like air conditioners, are very reasonably priced nowadays. Oh, now you're going to Less than a hundred. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to keep a forty-year-old microwave. How much does a microwave cost? How much does a microwave cost? Well, you have, yeah, you have to, you kind of. I remember, uh, shake it up, shake it down, move it in, move it around, disco lady. That's that was the year before. Oh, you don't like that? Oh, no, that well, was actually. Oh, okay. I didn't like car wash. That's yeah, how do you brag about working at a car wash? Why would you write a song? To make a movie. Oh, that's right, you make a movie. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not something you want to be happy about and write a song. But what do you do with the movie? Get Watch nice cars? Microwave. Yeah, get, get a microwave. <laughs> you know how compact they are? I have to save my money to get my car fixed, yeah? Uh-oh. <laughs> what, what happened? Did you, uh, did you go over here and uh, get it done? I went, I, I went to him and he fixed the defective part, you know. Not the crook. We're not talking about the crook. I didn't go to the crook, but I had to go back to him to get the defective part fixed, but he didn't charge me anything, you know. That was nice of But him. if something else goes wrong in the car, I'm going to have to get it fixed. He probably yeah? felt sorry. Where, the guy that ripped you off? He fixed the defective part, you yeah? know. But this is the guy that overcharged you. He fixed the, the defective part that's called a lottery. <laughs> he went back to the guy that ripped me off. Yeah, but he didn't, he didn't charge me. But that's because I paid him $762 already. <laughs> We paid him seven hundred and sixty dollars, so he seven hundred and sixty-three already. So he most likely felt guilty that he ripped you off, so he didn't charge you this time. He charged me the second time, right? And what was the cost? What would normally would the cost be for this part, this job? My friend told me it would have only cost two hundred and sixty-three dollars anyhow. <laughs> He charged, he charged a lot for the job. <laughs> oh boy. You can't make this stuff up. And he said the bottom. She can. <laughs> oh, by the way, what do you think of those fake locks out in front of this establishment? You think that's a pretty cool invention? No, it makes me think of my leaves. Yeah. Oh, you know what they're good for? All series. Decorations. Hiding spare keys and important things because because the public will think it's a real rock and they'll never they'll never think of turning it over and looking at oh, You know these guys nowadays they know all the tricks. They let's, let's check the fake rock first. You know the CIA has a fake rock with an electronic device and they toss it in the front yard and they can actually scan all your activities inside your house. They can hear what Chief Ray are doing. They can hear what you and Ray are doing. If, 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 the, if the CIA really wanted to know, they find out nothing. <laughs> they know there's nothing. Those rocks know oh, it all. Oh, Ray, darling, change the channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, even they say even the new smart TVs could have a spying device inside of them. Well, yeah, your cable box, everything. Yeah. Wait, that's why I go like this before I turn it. When I turn the TV on, I go like. Excuse me, I have an itch in the middle of my forehead. Oh. They, say around the blue, they say around the blue light area, so a lot of people can take over they don't trust them. Oh, the blue, we mean the, the perimeter? The cable lines. Oh, and the cable. The blue light, they put a cable, they put cable. Yeah, I think you might, to use the remote, don't you need that light? 
to do. To, oh. oh, by the way, any any good any good news from from Jackie? All right, I'm not going tomorrow. Two to six. Good one. Yeah. But I'm in no hurry because I'm so fed up with the BS. Yeah, it's about time. My God. Well, plus you meet so many. I do. It's fun. Relaxing. You know, people from all over. I bet you get pilots going in there. From Teterboro. So where are you and Ray going tonight? Nowhere. Nothing ever happened with him. Your, your amethyst is wrong. My amethyst? Or whatever you call it. No, amethyst is a purple gem, a uh, semi-precious gem. You mean the amulet? Amulet, whatever you call it. Well, she, was she shaking when you said Ray? I'm not shaking because it's cold in here. Cold? I'm drinking something cold oh, it's, too. Oh, it's fine in here. You, you feel cold? I call them always cold in here when they have the air conditioning. Can you imagine her coming in early in the morning? It was cold? It was freezing. It had to be maybe high 40s, low 50s. Oh, yeah? It was, I said, people, you're freezing. You're shower. This is not good. Arms are working back. Legs are working the whole way. This is definitely, without a doubt, a maniacal Sunday madness. That's for sure. You know all these infomercials about fitness and everything they they never they never invented anything all this is goes way back thousands of years they've been doing the, all these i saw a video of how the greek warriors trained they, they use uh granite boulders they picked up granite boulders and they did presses they did squats they did curls with them yeah the, the spartan warriors and you know the, granite boulders She's got rocks in her head. Uh, uh, yeah, nothing is new. They want you to think it's new so you spend your money. Yeah. All the TV's about spending money. They got so many commercials so you spend money. Look, even, even Charles Atlas, even Charles Atlas used traditional weights and he may believe he got his physique from uh, isometrics. No, I mean, isometrics, I'm not saying it doesn't work because a Russian guy named, uh, his last name was Zass, he was in prison during World War I and he used the bars of his prison cell to do isometrics and he became a circus strongman when he, after the war. Yeah, you're right about that. No, that's the barker that says, come everyone and see the bearded lady. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. Yeah, the beard, you know, in the circuit, and the carnival. They, they want you to get to look at the freak show. Look at the two-headed goat. I must be talking about Ray. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Yeah, in the circus. Remember the, the car? They stuff all the clowns in a little car? Yeah. Yeah. Some people are afraid of clowns. Yeah. Kids like clowns, so. I know. I know Kramer was afraid of clowns on Seinfeld. Oh, yeah? No, kids like clowns. But you know what? You know not be cool? A demented clown that makes kids cry. That would be really funny. Oh. I saw a funny photograph online. Somebody took um, a raw femur from a from a, a, a cow, and he and the dog was holding it in his mouth, and they put a, a sneaker on the end of it, just to freak people out. The dog had his big bone in his mouth, and they put a sneaker on the end of the. Like I guess they wanted to make people think the dog is chewing on a, on a human skeleton, you know. Whatever. No bones about it. There's no bones about it. Speaking of, whatever happened to CNN in this joint? 
They stopped paying the cable. So how Oh, really? Almost a year ago. They stopped coming sooner? Well, that's why we see you see Ellen DeGeneres uh, every day. Instead, we could be we could be learning about Michael Cohen and uh, and Manafort. What's going on? I mean, you know. Yeah, because Trump is getting in deeper and deeper. Oh, he's he's in big trouble. Well, they I think they indicted. Uh, they already got Cohen. Cohen and Manafort. Cohen is dead. Who? No, he's not. Well, who's dead? One of those guys is no, dead. No, John, John McCain. John McCain. That's what I meant. Yeah. No, we're talking about the indictment. His former lawyer. Yeah. No, they they. The guy take a for him. Yeah, right. Uh, you see how fast Trump ditched him? Yeah. He doesn't have like any feelings of loyalty. I don't think. He cares about himself. Yeah. He wants everybody loyal to him, but he's not loyal to anybody. Plus, he's notorious for stiffing people for money. A friend of mine over here did that. A lot of his friends. Are. I told I told you that he stiffed uh, his daughter Ivanka's uh, the caterer for her wedding reception. He says he didn't like the flavor of the food. I'm not going to pay you. He stiffed the caterer that catered Ivanka's wedding reception. He's got a lot of lawsuits pending against him. Yeah, and look at that stupid Trump University. Trump steaks, Trump ties. Oh yeah, make make America great, and in the back it says "Made in China." Taiwan, get it? Yeah, yeah. Bum bum bum. <laughs> nah, he's uh, he's a hypocrite and a and a pathological liar. Who Trump? But a big time hypocrite. And he likes him. Oh, you don't like Trump? No. You know how many times he lies? At least a dozen, maybe. No, no, it's over five thousand. Oh, they said. Washington Post keeps track in their paper every day. Remember when he was bitching how many times Barack Obama went on vacation, and he all he does is go to the golf course. This guy spends more time on his golf course. Trump. He's a hypocrite. It keeps on saying the uh, the economy is. Doing great. You know what I watch, and it gave me a headache. Um, on uh, Chris Cuomo had Kellyanne Conway as a guest. Man, did she cut him off, and yeah. she wouldn't allow Chris Cuomo to say much of anything. And he, he kept, and he, Chris Cuomo was right. Yeah, but you may, you know, you may, I don't know if you saw, it, but Conway was really trying to. She always does. She wouldn't let him talk because she's she's uh what's the word shill? She's a Her shill. Husband can't stand her. They go at it. They're married. Oh my god! I think I think that whole thing was a front because she's getting paid well. She has a job in the administration, which makes her. It's kind of like glorified prostitution, you know, when you lie. And because you're getting paid to to lie about, I guess your employer, like uh, what's her name, a uh, Huckabee Sanders. Who's that, Ray? Oh, Huckabee, Ray Huckabee Sanders. Sarah, come here. Hi. I smell something. Finally. Finally. Oh my God. And look at look at those wonderful napkins too. Uh -huh. What did you have? Grilled cheese. Unless they make it really good. Is it good? I went to the buffet uh, in Saddlebrook Friday. The Royal Hibachi uh, Buffet. You know what I used to get? You know they have a very suspicious. They opened up a very suspicious looking spa uh, in in the uh, in Lodi, the Lodi Mall. Looks like it looks like a harem 
like like it looks like a, a scene from uh, I Dream a Genie's Bottle. You get a job there. <laughs> no, it, it, it's one of those suspicious oh, yeah, looking spas, you know. Is yeah. that going to lean on your phone? Oh, it is. It's Eileen. Holy shit. Look at that. Well, this show's going to be, this show will be canceled in no time. <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay? No, nah, yeah. I got to I got to run myself soon. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, what was I going to say about the mall? Oh, Lodi Buffet used to have clams on a half shell. They had very good fried calamari. And they had uh, good Italian food, to be honest with you. You know, I mean, I, I missed it. I used to go there. with my friend all the time. One time my dad did work for a while back. But you know what they have at Royal Habaji? Right down the street from me. In the Saddlebrook Mall, by the Walmart. Yeah. That buffet has all fresh seafood, nothing frozen. The, the guy is a chef, he's Turkish. He puts out the best of everything. I love it when he comes out with leg of lamb and uh, barbecue and, and uh, beef, barbecue short ribs and lamb ribs and um, what else? Oh, we came out with fresh flounder filet stuffed with feta cheese and spinach. That was delicious. <laughs> then he's got the sushi bar, big sushi bar. He's got the he's got the Mongolian barbecue where they cook in front of you. Then he has the hard ice cream now, not the soft one, where you scoop your own ice cream, like like friendly style. He's got, the, you go in there yourself and you scoop the hard ice cream yourself. I'm telling you, it's a good thing. I only pay, ten, I, I don't mind paying 10 bucks for lunch. Yeah. Oh, and I left out the roast duck. He also puts out roast duck. Lunchtime is cheaper. They charge more dinner time. Roast buffet. Yeah. Well, you know why? He brings out the Alaskan king crab, the snow crab. The, you know, he brings out. Yeah. He brings out cold seafood salad that's loaded with fish. Uh, but but the duck is good. The duck is good. You know, I mean, I can't complain for ten bucks. And he, oh, that's what I said to him. Man, that flounder is out of this world. Fresh flounder stuffed with feta cheese and spinach. You know, can't can't be beat. This has been a Mega Life Twenty One production.